Hey guys, so it is Monday and I just got out of the shower. I worked out today on my trampoline since the day was really nice. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right. Like there's this cool breeze and I'm really loving it. I've had a really productive day so far. I think I may go in, clean my room cause my room needs it, it's really dusty. I'm sorry that I never got back around to you guys. I know I look like a butthole right now. Like a butthole right now. I think yesterday I was just kind of on social media for too long and I kind of let it drain my energy. I just felt really lazy and drained and just didn't feel like doing very much so I didn't feel the need to come on there and vlog. I didn't do too much yesterday. I did get ready because so I like to do one thing even on my lazy days one thing that is productive each day and so yesterday I got dressed up and made some TikToks, some funny TikToks. I don't know why it's always the embarrassing ones that I make that end up being the ones that get on the, the For You page and yes I have had videos end up on the For You page before. Only embarrassing ones though. If you haven't followed me on TikTok yet, please feel free to go and do that because I make a lot of funny little skits and videos on there and also just other random stuff and I love TikTok. I know a lot of people that are my age probably refuse to make one because they think it's all for little kids like I did at first but trust me as soon as you make one you're gonna get addicted to it I wanted to talk a little bit more about the whole issue we're facing right now I know it's kind of like a touchy subject and I don't really like I said I don't really talk much about this sort of thing mainly because I'm afraid I'm gonna say the wrong thing but it really needs to be talked about and I just don't want you guys to ever think that I'm being silent you know, I'm not really um, supporting him because I definitely support the Black Lives Matter movement. However, I don't really speak too much about it, but I just want you guys to know that I support and I love each and every single one of you, no matter your race. None of that matters. You are a human being and you deserve to be treated that way. And the other day it got me thinking back to this book that I used to read when I was a kid and I got this at a book fair I believe and I don't know if you guys remember if you grew up in the 90s or the early 2000s then you probably watched it it was a show that used to come on I think PBS kids and it was called reading rainbow and it was basically where they would read kids books and kind of like show like the imagery and stuff on the TV if I'm thinking right if this is the right show and so I think this book was actually one of the books that they read on that show I'm not for sure but it says reading rainbow on it so I'm pretty sure I don't know why I liked to keep certain things from my childhood and just treasure them I guess I guess so I could look back on them like some of my favorite things from my childhood. The reason I think was because if I ever have children of my own, I can always share these like special toys and memories and stuff with them. So I think that was the main reason why I did this, but I got this book at a book fair and I remember they read it to us in school. And the book is called, so the book is called Amazing Grace and this is the cover. Those are the authors, in case you guys are interested. So basically, what this book is about, it's about this little girl who loves stories. She loves to act them out and pretend as if she is a part of the story herself. I love a little cat that she has that's always following her around. But anyways, one day at school, they're doing a play for Peter Pan, and she wants to be Peter. And one of her friends says that she can't be Peter because Peter is a boy and not a girl. And then one of her friends says that she can't be Peter Pan because she's black. And when she goes home, her mama and her nana tell her that she can be anything she wants to be. Then they talk about this uh, lady that her Nana knew 
that grew up to be a part of like like shows and stuff and it's basically just a story telling kids kids and girls and people of color that they can really be anything they want to be and not to let words or actions of others stop them from doing like anything because they can literally do and be whoever they want to be and I don't know why but I really just got thinking about this book the other day because I remembered it from my childhood and I had it kept up in a drawer and I thought right now with everything going on this would be the perfect time to share this book with you guys so if you were a mom or a parent and you have a kid and you know you want to raise them up the right way I highly suggest getting this book and uh, reading it to them because I definitely feel like it teaches kids like a good lesson not just not just people of color but also for girls too it's very empowering for girls little girls um, teaching you that you can be whatever you want to be <laughs> that's the reason why I don't really speak out too much about this stuff because guys I'm really bad at explaining myself I'm really bad at talking in general glad that I kept this book it was always one of my favorites as a kid and I just thought I would share that with you guys but I love you guys and I just want you to know that and I may not tweet about it a lot I may not talk about it too much but I see it I noticed it I care and I want you guys to know that also keep in mind that just because someone is not posting about it regularly on like social media and stuff does not mean that they aren't doing their part to help like they could be doing other things to help outside of social media so I just I thought I would like clarify that I feel like people have really been uh, on others about that you know not saying too much on social media I can understand in certain ways but also like I said just keep in mind that there can be other ways that people are helping as well and it it doesn't always have to be posted on social media to know that you're you've done a good thing you know yeah I hope you guys are doing well I don't really have very many plans for the day because I'm really tired I struggled with my asthma last night and could not fall asleep for the life of me I'm currently setting outside it was a beautiful day it's been beautiful th these past couple of days I'm very grateful for that I may or may not work out I don't know I've been uh, trying to get back into exercising more because this quarantine got me fucked up guys like I've been eating a lot and I blame it on the quarantine but it's really just me having zero self-control when it comes to food but yeah, like, I, I need to get back into being healthy and exercising, working out again. So I may or may not do that. I don't know. I might save it for another day. And I think I may either do editing or do more research. Because I still have part two of my special going up this week. So, yeah. folks so it is Thursday it's kind of late in the evening now Just had a huge ass thunderstorm which was really nice we really needed it we had tons of beautiful days I'm writing on my little gratitude I guess you could call it a gratitude list things to be happy about list for like my next video and I'm sorry I didn't really update you guys much on the footage that you seen from yesterday but me and my dad ended up going to the Spring Hill Cemetery my favorite cemetery here uh, where I actually filmed my intro and everything because he just ordered a legit spare box so we wanted to go there and kind of test it out like give it a test run and I decided to record it just in case we caught something cool you know we wanted to look back on it or share it with others it was so funny because no fighting hey 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 stop stop my cats were fighting i'm sorry <laughs> anyways so Whenever he first turned it on, when we were at my house, it said my name. Like, first thing. It won't stop. 
said my name and then when we went to the cemetery it said someone's name who was on a tombstone which we thought was really cool it also said my boyfriend's full name i wasn't thinking about him at the time i don't know if he was thinking of me like i don't know what was going on his name his full name and i caught it on camera so that was really cool i'm really excited now because we're planning on going to some haunted locations for vlogtober and he's going to use his legit spirit box don't get me wrong i think that the spirit boxes that are apps on like your phone and stuff can work and you can get some pretty good responses out of them i feel like with the legit ones like you can hear it right as it's happening and you don't have to always like re-listen to it again later on you know you can hear it right as it's happening which is really cool and there was also a ginormous spider in our bathroom yesterday. Uh, me and my stepbrother almost died because we ended up trying to kill it. If I can get the footage off of her, I will probably have included it in this video, which means you guys have probably already seen it. <sighs> that damn thing got loose, so it is somewhere in our bathroom right now. We still haven't caught it. So that's nice. It was a huge ass spider. This wouldn't be the first time that spiders have almost killed me. <laughs> uh, and now I'm getting ready to do a little bit of editing. I think I'm going to edit part two of my special and probably do a little bit of research. And yeah, I've got my candle going. I'm enjoying the evening. <laughs> Bro, I swear to God, if you jump on me, I swear to God. So help me, Jesus. I don't understand why that's. I'm so scared. Oh my God, if it freaking jumps on me, I swear to God. Oh my God. I'm literally about to just leave it there and let him come and get it. Oh, oh my god, I, 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 oh, please tell me I'm just saying, is it still up there? Yes. Okay, because I swear to god I saw something fall. Oh my god. <gasps> wait, wait. <laughs> Bruh, I swear to god. <laughs> I thought I saw it crawl out. Up in the crack up there. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. The thing is, you'll never know for sure if it's dead, because, like. to 
close the door and just like Let's see if my daddy gets home, he can like look at the new little bitch ass spatter.